Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Time to venture inside this door, where we will find this monkey being held against his will. How unfortunate. So this monkey's gonna try and be a hero and be all like, No, get the monkey out! What do I do? Uh, whatever do we do? This seems impossible. This is clearly impossible. We might as well turn around and just stop doing whatever we're doing. Just stop trying to save the world, because clearly... Clear, like, the bridges aren't even holding together. This is just turned to shit right now. But, luckily, there is a way out of this. We can just roll into the pole, and that monkey cage will eventually drop to the ground. And we can free the second monkey. Freedom! Oh, hey. <laughs> I can't let you do that, Sir Eric. Screw you guys. I'm going to do it anyway. Look at these guys. Thinking they're all tough. Look at that hitting me. How dare you. You will pay for your stupidity. <laughs> Die! There we go. That was easy. So once we defeat them, the monkeys will be all like, Yay, you killed them. And I'll be like, Yay, I killed them. <laughs> and they'll be like, Hey, we're going to go up here. And I'll be like, Okay, I'm going to follow you. So that's how this game plays out. Was I stuck? I was stuck in the stairs. Did you see that? I was not even paying attention, but I was legitimately stuck in the stairs. That was stupid. So now in order to get out, the monkeys will chain together once again. Uh, although, I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest here somewhere. Yes, right there. See? You thought I was going to leave without getting that treasure chest. I know. You guys were all like, he's going to miss the chest. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Yellow rupee. I don't even have the compass yet. And I'm getting all the chests. Take that, game. All right. So let's actually use the monkeys now to... Swing across. It's kind of like Donkey Kong Country. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, what is up these vines? I'm curious. Absolutely goddamn nothing. Okay. I think that's if... Yeah, if you were to fall back down there later and... You know, so you would have a way out. and You wouldn't just be stuck for all eternity. Because being stuck for all eternity would be pretty terrible. Alright, so let's continue. We can't do anything with that yet, like I said. So we're just going to jump across. Jump across. I have to say, the monkeys actually do a pretty good job following you. They're not like other NPCs in other video games that... I mean, they don't really do anything. They're not supposed to attack or fight or anything. But they're not like other NPCs that get like stuck behind walls and stuff. They seem to do a pretty good job. So that's pretty cool anyway. Alright, so now that we have two monkeys... Two monkeys! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, can we climb up these vines? No. Again, that's just a shortcut, I think. Yeah, now that we have two monkeys, we have more than enough monkeys to make our way back and then even explore new areas. So I'll do just that. I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go though. I forget which way. I think it's this way. Yes, this is the two monkey path. Or maybe it's just one monkey. Yeah, okay. Because yeah, one now goes over there, back there, and now one's up here. This is great. I can use my little pointer to point things out during the game. That's pretty cool. Uh, lantern, please. Thank you. And inside, we have another room. Oh, I hate this room. You know why I hate this room? Because of... I'll show you why. Well, first, we've got to kill these things. This is a new type of plant that we haven't encountered yet. I don't know the names of any of the enemies in this game. But these are kind of like, you know, the plants from before. But when you hit them, instead of killing them, you detach them. And if they hit you while they're detached, I believe they suck out your health or they hurt a lot. Especially with only three hearts. So don't let them hit you. Alright, now these, this is the reason why I hate these things. See those things? I like these giant mushroom things. You can't kill them. The only way to defeat them is to drop a bomb. Ow. Don't do that. Stop doing that. I'm going to die to a stupid bomb. Right, well, that was a fail. Give me a heart. Oh, rupees. Alright, so yeah, the only way to kill these things is to use these bombs. And if you drop a bomb in one of them from overhead, you can kill it. Now this one, that is really tricky to do, and that one actually gives you a heart piece, I believe, if you do it properly. But, you know, the issue is actually doing it properly. Uh, not my strong point in, in gaming. Doing things properly is not what I'm good at. So, you know what? We're going to come back for that, because my health is pretty damn low. For now... We're going to pick that thing up, or we're just going to let it explode, because I apparently suck at this. Wow. This is embarrassing. I don't want the lantern. Why would I want the lantern? I'm going to die. Because of these stupid bomb bugs. 
there we go. That's what I want. Alright, now we're gonna go over here. And we are going to drop the bomb. No, 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 no. This is all sorts of wrong. This is all sorts of wrong. Right, let's do it correctly. There we go. Target the thing and throw the bomb. And the bomb will go inside the thing. And the thing will be like, oh, yum, yum. Boom. In implosion. That's what it was. Give me that heart. No, the heart. Thank you. Alright, so now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get that thing. That thing's a pain, though. This one over here. But whatever. Maybe, maybe I can figure out another way to do it a little bit later. But, yeah. Alright, well, let's kill these stupid little... Alright, while we wait on getting the, the thing to work, because my attempts at bombing that stupid extra guy didn't... That other guy didn't really work out very well so far. So let's take out those spiders. And let us jump and climb up the vines. Up the vines of victory. I don't know why those vines are the vines of victory, they just are. Oh, there is another bomb up there. Mean. Anyway. Use this guy to drop him down there. And into the plant. The plant will be like, oh yum yum, that was a tasty bomb. Kaboom! Dead plant is dead. There we go. So now we can safely, well, not safely drop down. Oh, we can. We didn't actually take any fall damage. I thought we would. There's also a bomb guy here that tries to be a big douche. But to no avail. Let's open the chest and get a piece of heart. I knew there was a heart piece in there. I was right. Okay. So now, now that we got that out of the way, that was that was ridiculously easy to get. I was making that way harder than it should have been. Uh, we can actually do what we're supposed to do in this room. And that is progress. <laughs> Because doing nothing does not accomplish anything. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the way we have to go right now. Uh, no, clearly not. Because the bridge just turned away, so no. Scratch that. We're gonna go the other way. It was only, like, one of two ways. And naturally, you know, you gotta pick the wrong way. Because because I'm just me. And I picked the wrong way. Okay, jumping this way. Uh, there's a bomb. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. Okay, the bomb needs to be taken care of. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, the bomb challenge. This one I, I'm pretty sure I can legitimately do. Go. Go, Link. Go. We got this. We got this. Jump and throw. Yeah. Took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. The suicide attempt is usually the best with, with getting timed bomb explosions. Because normally, I think the game kind of relies on the player being smart and knowing enough to throw the bomb. But I don't do that. I don't play by the rules. I play by my own rules. Anyway, is that a monkey over there? I can't see. It's really dark. Oh, yeah, it is. What do you know? Another monkey. Great. All right, looks like we gotta play hero again. So let us go forth. Oh, it looks like there's a chest up there. Oh, these things. Yeah, I remember that. All right, well, first, let's get that chest, because there was a chest on that thing, and I want it. And I'm clearly facing the wrong side of the treasure chest. How many times has this happened to you? It's a small key. So that's good. We definitely needed that. Um, and it's here we have a jar with some rupees. That's just nice. That one doesn't move at all. All right, so I don't know if we can actually go across here yet without like, oh yeah, we can. But uh, yeah, we'll be back to this room a little bit. Yeah, cause see, look at how much of a pain that is. Uh, so we really can't do very much in this room right now, except like die. Oh no, 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 lantern, 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 lantern. Uh, so we gotta light all these four things. Oh, not all four, I guess. I just just that one. But yeah, we'll, we'll once we. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but we can't really do you know this room justice right now because we we have no way of combating these guys under the floor. We do have to light all four. My mistake. And now we have a staircase, and it's probably gonna play the Zelda jingle. Yes, it is because that's what the game does. Okay, so yeah, we have no way of combating those guys under the floor right now. Of course, that that. You know, leads you to believe that we will have a way to combat them. And of course we will, because this is a Zelda game. Uh, let's use the key. Oh, God. Surprise attack coming from above much? Right, spiders are annoying in that they they also guard. So sometimes you have to wait for them to strike. And then counter attack. Just like that. And then finish the spider off. Let's use the key. Yeah, epic sword put away. I love doing that. Alright, now let's use the key to open the door and... Release the monkey. Yay. 
You are saved. I don't think there's anything actually in here. Maybe there's rupees in these jars. Oh, that was a heart. I'll take that. Okay, let us be on our way. Come on, monkey, you're coming too. So yeah, we can't do very much. There is something else we can do in this room, but not right now. So, we'll be back. But for now, let us leave. Okay, so now we have three monkeys on our team. Three monkeys. That's more than two monkeys. So that means we'll be able to get to more new, new uh, exciting places. Because <laughs> this dungeon is just all sorts of exciting. Okay, up this vine thing. I don't think there's a door up here. Maybe there's a door up here. Oh, there is a door up here. Ha, ha. There is a door up here. A very conspicuous looking door with a monkey in a cage. Okay, well, we gotta play hero yet again. Oh, what is that sparkling noise? A key! Convenient! I think someone just took it. Oh! That thing. Yeah, this thing is not fun. It's This is obviously a mini boss. Couldn't figure that out. But it's actually pretty easy. This is really not a problem. We just have to, uh, once it goes to attack, we have to jump out of the way and then swipe at it. I think that was horrible. So yeah, it's really not all that difficult. It's just kind of getting the timing down that is the main issue. Now, I don't know if you can actually detach it or not, but whatever. I'm not going to bother with him right now. What I am going to bother with is this bomb, because all I know is that a bomb will pretty much take this guy out. I don't know, you can probably play around with his, with his head all you want, but you know, that was not fast enough. Actually, it probably would be easier to detach his head first, so then you can just... Oh, sh stupid thing. Then you just focus on throwing this bomb into the center there, but whatever. I don't play by the rules, as you know. Oh, whatever, stupid thing. I don't play by the rules, I play by my own rules in Twilight Princess. This is how we do. Alright, come on, bomb. Oh, you're stupid. You know what? I'm gonna take up the head. If I can. Before it takes out me. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. That was... That makes things much easier. Oh, you can't even use the bomb until you take out the head. So, my bad on that. I probably just wasted a bunch of time. But whatever, I'm not gonna worry about it. All I'm gonna do is throw the bomb in that center thing, and it's gonna be all like, Yummer! This is delicious! Boom! You're dead. Give me that key back. I know what you have! Yes, there it is. A lovely, sparkling, small key. Thank you. I will be taking that. I got a small key. This will open a locked door, but only in this area. Don't tell anyone else. So let us open that and release the monkey. So now we have four monkeys on our team. Four monkeys. Four of these dumbass monkeys. All hopping and screaming and being all monkey. Okay, whatever. Stupid pots. I don't really care what's in the pots. Let's keep going. Uh, we're pretty much almost done with this dungeon. That was, I guess... Nah, that wasn't really the mini-boss, but it was like a mini-mini-boss. But there's really not much left to go, even though it seems like we haven't really done much of anything. Which is partially true, but... Uh, we're... trust me, we're, we're pretty close to being done here. Alright, so let's backtrack into the center room. We have four monkeys now, so now we can really go places. These monkeys are all gonna chain together. We got three more. Three monkeys remaining. So all three monkeys are going to run out that door. Or all four monkeys, rather, are going to run out that door. And we can now use all four monkeys to get across that bridge that that dumbass, you know, decided to break. Because he was all like, can't let you do that, Sir Eric. I'm going to break this bridge. But now we have four monkeys. We have the power. Now we're really playing with power. Super power. So we're going to use all four monkeys to make our way across this gigantic gap. Jump! Jump again! One more time! I lied one more. Excellent. So we made it all the way across. Monkeys, just sit tight for now. I'll be back with weapons. Alright, so in here, if you couldn't tell by the epic fade out in like weird zooming camera angle, this is the mini boss of the dungeon. Uh, every dungeon in this game is kind of formatted that way, and that you have a mini boss that gives you a dungeon item, and then you have the actual boss of the dungeon. And this mini boss is this big jerk baboon ape type of thing. I don't know. 
He's gonna throw his big boomerang. His boomerang is lethal. And it's gonna unleash some enemies upon us. And he is gonna be a big jerk, all laughing and... Hey! Inappropriate! Inappropriate for this game. So first, let's just take out those stupid plants. All right, so the idea here is you want to roll into the pillar that the monkey is standing on. If you do that, it'll knock him off balance, and when his boomerang returns, it'll actually hit him. So now, you essentially hit his ass. We are literally kicking his ass to beat him. So wait, you gotta, so you gotta wait, wait until he stops and then hit the pillar, so then when the boomerang comes back, it will knock him off balance and he will just fall like the stupid dumbass he is. So let's continue kicking his ass. I love that you can literally kick this boss's ass, because this boss is a big jerk. It does have pretty interesting music, though. Uh, so yeah, it's going to jump all around, hopping and around, hipping in, hopping. Yeah, but yeah, he doesn't know what the jazz is all about, so I'm going to just kill him. No mercy. Oh, wait, we got one more. One more phase. That's right. I, you have to do this guy four times, which is kind of a pain. But whatever. He's going to jump around, jump around. Throws boomerang. He's gonna actually un unleash the plants, but it's too little, too late. The plants can't really do much to save him. We're gonna jump attack into his ass, and that would be enough for him to jump face plant into the pillar. Oh, looks like uh, that was what caused that guy to be a big douche. Remember those bugs? Those were some of the Twilight bugs. So now this guy's gonna be like, "What happened? What have I been doing?" Uh, somebody's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah, so he's just gonna run away like a wimp. And that's the last we're gonna see that guy. Anyway, uh, now that he left, he did leave one rather important item behind, his boomerang. So, if you couldn't guess, we are gonna get the boomerang, but not just any boomerang. I am the fairy of the winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I have my true power back. Please take it with you. Use it on your quest. Something or other, focus power, whatever. I don't really care. All I care about is that this boomerang isn't just a regular boomerang, this is the Gale boomerang, which houses the power of wind. So, they made the boomerang into a kick-ass item in this game. It can do wind stuff, it's just awesome. But Midna's gonna interrupt. Let's continue combing this place. We've already found some something good, so keep searching a place we haven't looked yet. Thank you, Midna, for that. Alright, so how do we get out of here? Well, we gotta first equip our Gale boomerang, and now shoot at the top of the door. And when we rotate that little propeller there, the door will slowly open. Oh no, it won't open. Do we have to rotate it even more? Yeah. See, the game's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be like, practice with propellers. I know how to use propellers. So anyway, this is probably gonna be the end of the video. So, this is Shadow Mario 41. In the next video, we should wrap up the Forest Temple. We're pretty much done. Uh, now that we have the Gale Boomerang, we can get to the last area and fight the boss. So this is... I said what my name was already. See you guys next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda. Twilight Princess, you know the deal.